greensandmachines.com. In this video, I will be going over in depth on how the nutrient solution in this hydroponic garden is conveyed from the reservoir to the growth channels and finally back to the reservoir. I'll be placing affiliate links to the items used in this setup in the description below. The setup for this NFT garden is a three-tiered system that has water starting and ending at a reservoir at the bottom. For this size system, a slim-fitting 15-gallon tote was acquired as to fit underneath the lowest growth channel. The system is set up as level as possible as to prevent too much water from accumulating in one channel. Water is conveyed to the top channel using an aquarium pump. At the pump's outlet, it is split into four channels using a drip line head and attached to quarter inch irrigation line. These hoses run up the frame and into each growth channel through a hole drilled into the top. Water then flows down the channel to the other end before flowing into the next layer. The connection from the top channel is made through a rubber grommet fitted into a hole drilled into the bottom of the channel. An adapter is inserted into the grommet to allow the fitting of a tube to run to the next level. In this case, the adapter is fitted with a half inch irrigation tube. The tube is fitted into a hole drilled for the larger sized tube in the top of the next channel. This is repeated for the final layer of the setup. On the last layer, instead of flowing into another growth channel, the adapter is fitted with a return line constructed with half inch tubing and barbed elbows. This flows back into the reservoir before the cycle repeats itself. Some modularity is in play here, as any of the growth channels for a given layer can be swapped with one another. The top layer though must remain at the top due to the differences in the inlet hole sizing. The bottom layer has some return line attached to it, which is more cumbersome to switch around. As mentioned earlier, the inlet hoses have valves installed on them, which allows for any of the individual four inlets to be shut off. This can be done for system cleaning, maintenance, troubleshooting, or to limit nutrient solution flow if no plants are on that channel path. Those are the basics of the nutrient flow here. In a future video, I'll go over some of the possible upgrades, which may help avoid potential problems with this system. Be sure to like this video if you like the content of this build, and hit subscribe for more hydroponic videos like this one. We'll see you in the next video.